Hi, this is Ike from Ike'sOutdoors.com. Today when I got up and uh, went out to get the mail, I had this wait for me. This is a uh, brand new Octane Tripwire Aero Rest. And I heard you've seen pictures of it. This is the first time I've actually actually had one in my hands. And uh, first time I've done anything with this rest. I haven't even got this out of the package yet. And that's, I've done that for the purpose of be just like an, a, a person going to a shop and seeing this thing and thinking that's a pretty nice looking rest <clears throat> and taking it home so I have no experience with this thing I haven't read anything on it I haven't even read the instructions yet so what I'm going to do is walk you through my initial setup with this thing pretty much everything just like you would if you went to a store and bought this thing and, and brought it home and had to set it up on your own so it is a uh, it's tripwire arrow rest by Octane it is a fall away rest uh, it does not look like it's a capture rest but uh, pretty nice looking rest just by looking at it Pretty sharp looking, so we'll see if the uh, if it works as good as it looks. So I'm gonna start taking this thing out of here, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I've got it out, and I haven't done anything with it yet. I haven't even read the instructions yet. I've just been playing with it here for a second or two. And uh, one of the nice, cool features about it is with it down like this, bring it up, and it locks into position. And when you release it, then it goes down. So We'll see kind of how it works from there, but I like that feature. That looks that's pretty cool. I like the launcher on it too. It's got a nice deep launcher on it. So, uh, so far so good. Thing looks pretty cool. It's nice aluminum construction. Really nice. Looks like a real quality, uh, real durable, uh, real well built rest. So, start getting this thing put together, and we'll we'll see how see how good it really is. I really like that feature. Though. That's pretty. Okay, cool. Putting the thing together is pretty easy. All you need to do that is the number one archer's tool, your handy dandy uh, Allen wrenches. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to install it on on the bow, which is, is fairly straightforward and pretty simple. I've got my Athens Accomplice here that uh, we're going to be installing it on. And I'm going to set it, I like these fall away rests. Uh, you know, you got your two burger holes here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it back pretty far like that. So the fall away rest is not going to slap up against my riser. That's just for noise reduction, that's what I always like to do. So it'll, it'll have a minimal contact with my riser. Okay, so setting that up is pretty easy. I've already got it. Uh, I've already got it on there, and I got my left and right set close, and my up and down set close. I'm gonna have to to, to figure out, tinker with that a little bit once I get uh, ready to shoot it. But for the most part, right now it's it's set up and ready to go. So now comes the tricky part, which with most rests it's a tricky part. We'll find out if it is with this one or not. And it's time to uh, to time this thing. So we're going to see how hard that is to do. Okay, so it looks like the uh, the tripwire does not come with a, any kind of uh, football clamp or, or clamp to secure it to your to your cord, your down cable. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to press this bow, and I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to serve my my cord in. So that's a little bit of a of an inconvenience for guys who don't have a, a bow press at home, so if you were to pick this, this rest up and, and want to take it home, uh, that is one kind of inconvenience, but you can always have this thing timed at the shop. Most guys who own who sell this kind of stuff will install it for you and, and time it for you, at least I would if, if I was running the shop. Um, they'll install it for you and they'll time it for you and do everything like that. So you do got to have a bow press to, to time this part, but it looks like the adjustability is going to be pretty nice because up here, you got a set screw that holds the cord on your tension. So once you set this to the 45 degree angle from your rest, like they recommend, your your adjustments are going to be done up here on on this uh, on this piece right here. So other than having to serve it in, it's once it's served in, timing it shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so I've got her installed there, and all I did was just set it at a 45 degree angle from the bottom of the uh, the rest, served above it and served below it, and served the cord in basically like you would. Uh, any other rest and if you don't have a bow press at your house or the ability to serve these in then I would strongly suggest you have that have the guy at the uh, shop do that and the nice thing about this tripwire is you still have the ability to time this and um, even if you don't want them to time if you want to take it home and time it you can actually still take this home and time it because your timing's not done here I use that I tied that at the very end of the cord all my timing's going to be done right up here and how we're going to do that is we're going to get our allen wrenches and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this thing tight. Let me let me just start out here. There's a set screw right here in this block. And what happens is that block moves back and back when this comes up. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen that set screw. And I'm not going to loosen it all the way, but I'm going to loosen it up pretty good. I still want a little bit of friction in there uh, per Bowtex instructions. If I can find the right Allen wrench here. Okay, so to time this rest, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock it in the upright position, fully cocked, and I'm going to tight, keep that string on there just, just nice and tight. And I've got both my set screws in there that are holding tension on that on that rope, uh, pretty loose. There's a little bit of tension left on there, but not a whole lot. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this bow to full draw, and then I'm going to let it back down. And that will pull the cord amount that I need through there. And then when I let it back down, it should be set pretty close. I may have to make some fine-tune adjustments, but we'll see how well this works. All right, now I just got to take my own wrenches and lock that into place. Okay, now to test this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that in the down position, put my release back on here, and I'm just going to pull it back and see where it, uh, see how far up it brings it. See if I need to make any adjustments to it. Okay, so it's not popping it up near as far as it should be, so I'm going to have to add a little bit of a. Uh, I'm going to have to make it a little bit tighter. Okay, to adjust that tension, all i got to do is, is adjust, is loosen one of my set screws here, pull a little bit cord, more cord in there, make it just a little bit tighter, and then pull the bow again and, and go from there. Okay, so with just a little bit of timing after setting it up with the initial instructions, I've got this thing in the position where it should be, and I want to show you that real quick. It's going to pull it up, and it's going to pull my arrow up into position, and then when I let down on it slowly, it's going to stay up. Pulls it right up into position. And when I let her down slow, it keeps it right up in that lock position. So that's a pretty cool feature. Okay, so now I've got the timing set. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna leave about an eighth of an inch there or something like that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna burn it and get a nice little mushroom there. And I'm gonna leave that for future adjustments in case I need to raise this up and down or something like that when I go to tune to to, to tune the rest actually to this bow. Um, Pretty easy to set up. Uh, I like it. There's a lot of nice features about it. I like the fact that it locks into position. That is another real nice feature about this rest. And even though it's not a full containment like the QAD or the uh, ripcord rest, you can lay your bow a little bit sideways and your arrow's not going to fall off. Now you can't jostle it around, but it does have deep enough forks on there that you can lay this thing sideways and it will kind of sit there. So that's a nice feature of it, even though it doesn't isn't a full containment rest, it does have that going for it. And I haven't installed it yet, Ripcord or um, Octane does send a, a nice little pad with it. So I can put that right here on my on my shelf and give that something to, to fall down and hit uh, and something to keep my arrow in line. So uh, overall, just an overall feel for this thing, very nice looking rest. I love the fact that it comes up and locks into position. That's very cool. I really like that. Um, does a pretty good job of holding the arrow, does a pretty good job of, uh, of keeping the arrow on there. For As far as timing it goes, just like every 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 fall away rest that I've set up has almost the exact same instructions with it. And that works to get you close, but you're going to want to make sure that when you bring that, that up that you're getting it up into that lock position. So what I did was I pulled it back and it came up and then I just let the bow down nice and easy and made sure it stayed up in that lock position and made sure that it was coming up at just about the time I got the full draw. So I really like that feature of it. Um, really don't have anything bad to say about the rest. Other than, you know, you know you're going to want to fine tune that and time it just like you will any rest. So real easy to set up, real sharp looking. And uh, there's, I wish I had something bad to say about it, but I really don't. Um, really nice looking rest. Real easy to put on, real easy to time. And, and so far, so good. We'll, we'll continue to test this thing over the next couple of weeks, and we'll give you a little follow-up on it. Uh, I'm Ike from ikesoutdoors.com. This is the new Bowtech, or the new Octane Tripwire, and I give it a 10 out of 10 right now. Um, be sure to visit our website, ikesoutdoors.com, and be sure to uh, stay tuned for more videos, more product reviews, and how-to videos in the future. Appreciate it.